We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Washington Commanders. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. It didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry. The officials did as well. Pal to the air on first and ten. And right off the bat, look at him lay out there and make the grab. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Now how? And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and it's third and four. Out of the gun, it's Howell. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. 49-yard punt, five on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Off play action. Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. 15 yards that time and a Buffalo first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now the new pickup from New England. This is Damian Harris. And a nice job there skipping away from the one tackle and ends up getting five yards out of that. Second down. From the 38 now, here's second down and five. To the air, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he's up to the 43. Allen and Knox teaming up there for a Buffalo first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll get maybe a couple, if that, up to the 46.
An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Now Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Here's Allen on first and ten. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Allen off the play fake. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. Well, it's very early here, but maybe circle that one for later. A third and long conversion, Charles, and that sets him up first and goal. And how about the way they got it done? You just mentioned third and long. I'm looking at it from the defense's perspective. They had the advantage. That's what you want to put an offense in, and they let them slip away. Now, if you're the offensive guys, Love what you just got done there. Continue on this drive. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Harris. But he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. But down here, I thought they were going to hand that off. Instead, a well-designed play and the pitch and catch for the touchdown. And I wonder who came up with it. Was it a call from the bench? Did the quarterback have a good idea and suggest it? In any event, clearly an effective play call. They saw something they liked in coverage, and they targeted it for the short yardage throw. And the perfect way to cap their opening drive. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. The last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10.
They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. Gibson with the solid pickup there, and the commanders love using his ability in a variety of roles. Led the team with almost 1,400 all-purpose yards in 2022. He can run it and catch it out of the backfield. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. Ball on the 39. Here's second and three. Once more, Gibson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And that run wasn't just for a first down. That was for some confidence. They've had a tough day moving the ball on the ground this entire game. I think after that one, they'll feel a little bit better about themselves, and now they've got more downs to try and get it done. This time they'll throw it with Howell. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Powell's throw taken in by Samuel. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now he'll look to throw it. That one complete out to Dotson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Off play action. It's Howell. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 28. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now throwing on first down here. Pass incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Hal. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Powell throwing on third down here. And now another one thrown incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. <laughs> 
field goal unit and Joey Sly now. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. Sly able to put this one through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a man in for an expanded roll in 2023. It's James Cook. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Allen going to throw. His throw incomplete. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. From midfield, here's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw, it's Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now Allen again. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, 35 yards. And the Bills had six to their lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Come on, let's go. Let's dominate this. 
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw, Howell. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball, but I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can, and that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. On first down, Hal steps away to his left. Hal sliding down, and he picks up the first on that play. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Throwing here, Howell. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But the play fake, and now here's Howell to throw it. And his throw here is incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Second down, Hal back to pass. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. And once more, Hal back to the air. Got his target, Samuel. And he's going to have a commander's first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. They'd been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Howell out of the shotgun. And it's caught. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half.
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Gibson. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Robinson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also... They've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Straight ahead, Gibson. Down to about the 37. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. So from the 37, here's second down and eight. Second down, Hal now. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. They'll go play action. Howell. Able to connect with Dotson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A gain of 32 that time. 
Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. Trying to power it in with Arma. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defensive coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. Second and goal from inside the five. Powell. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but now it's third and goal. Powell, third and goal. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas from four yards out. And the Commanders have cut the lead back down to two. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bills ready to take over. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Here's a second and five now from the 25. On play action, Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hardy. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And six DBs on the field for Washington on third down. Now Allen, throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Short yardage situation, you have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. 
This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Allen. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play here for Buffalo. 48 yards. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Off play action. It's Hal. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Powell, another throw on second down. That is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Powell throwing on third down here. Dancing to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. And the defense, they get to Howell. He'll go down here. It was Vaughn Miller who shot in there to get him down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. The Bills bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Third and long, here's Howell. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, if nothing else, they were able to pick up one first down on this drive and get it away from their own goal line, but not much happened after that, and it leads to a punting situation. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. From the 35, here's second down and three. Allen now looks to throw. Shakir holds it in. And he goes out right around the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? 
Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and ten upcoming. And again, it's Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Allen's throw going to be taken in by Knox, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. It's so important to tackle well against these guys, but you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. On first down, Allen. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Harris running straight ahead. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. To throw, it's Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. James Cook from 10 yards out. And the Bills will add to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive. And now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the Washington offense set to take over again. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Now first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 23. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. From the 28, it's second and five. Here's Hal to throw on second down. Hitting Samuel on the slant. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. A give to Gibson running right. 52 yards rushing for him now to this point. From the 41, here's second and four. Throwing here, Howell. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. A give running right, Gibson. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm gonna tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Oh, look at the juke. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I can get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head, his head coach, or probably his agent, too, saying, get out of bounds, man. Don't do that. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. And just a yard to go here on second down. Gibson here running out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. On first down, right back to Gibson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Antonio Gibson taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. On the return, Deontay Hardy. Now Hardy on the return. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. On the give, this is Harris. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. As to you said big third down, I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a give running left is Harris. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They hand this off to Harris. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and didn't get anywhere close to the first down. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So here we go now with Hal and the Commanders. Down by two, 25 seconds remaining. Needing at least 40 yards, you'd have to think, to have a shot. Yeah. 
Here's Howell. And this one is incomplete. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get to midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Another try, second and ten now. Howell to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. completion here as they fail to connect on third so after all of this it comes down to one final play and just think of what it's going to be because from this distance you've got to be prepared for everything hook and laterals tip balls you name it a lot of laterals after a catch just got to be prepared stay on your feet defensively and tackle someone pass complete thomas so it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And I tell you what, they were big favorites coming in, but they had to work for this one. Yeah, it certainly wasn't the walk in the park that you expected coming into this one. I have a suspicion that in their meetings next week, head coach going to talk to them a little bit about focus, don't you think? Yeah, because down the stretch, there was some nail-biting going on. And, and you're right, I think not only the fans, but those folks inside that locker room, they expected a comfortable victory. Yeah, they certainly did. And that just tells you about the NFL. Any given game, you never know how it's going to turn out. You'd better be ready to play.